So here we are out and about again, and I found myself some rose hips. So let's go pick some. Okay, so I did freeze these berries for a couple of days beforehand only because we didn't have a really good frost when these were ripe. And I'm looking to use anywhere between four to 500 grams. And with these berries, you will notice there is a nipple on the end. That's obviously where the flower used to be. So these need to be all topped and tailed. So you just need to slice them off and also any greenery like the stems need to come off as well. And for this process, you will need two things. The first thing is enough time and enthusiasm to do this. And the second thing you'll need is the patience of a saint. And for me, this isn't particularly therapeutic, but uh, I think it's got to be done. Otherwise, you might end up with a slightly bitter end product. And there we go. Now, ordinarily at this point, I would have added in one litre of a 40% ABV neutral spirit, 150 grams of sugar. I would have left it to macerate for a week or so and then come back, strained it, bottle it, job done. But no, in this video, for some reason, I decided to deviate slightly from my original plan. So all I added in with the berries was 450 ml of 93% ABV neutral spirit. Uh, sealed the jar up and left this just to macerate on its own. And this is nine days later. It looks like it's a reasonable colour, so I'm going to go ahead and strain this off. And after leaving this for a while, I had noticed that the 450ml had been reduced to just 400ml, which isn't a problem at all, but what could be a problem is this. And that's possibly some fruit pulp uh, that settled at the bottom, but also possibly some of the hairs. Now these hairs are what surround the pip inside of the berry, and if ingested, it could be a bit of an irritant. So just to be safe, I thought it was best to run it all through the paper filter. And as you can see, it seems to have done the job okay. And now on to the simple syrup. Uh, I didn't invert the syrup like I sometimes do. I merely warmed up almost 600 ml of water and added in 150 grams of sugar. Uh, just stirred it up a little bit just to help dissolve the sugar and then took it off the heat and left it to cool down. I now add the 400ml of the 93% ABV infusion along with the 600ml of the syrup to give me a litre of rose hip infusion at around 40% ABV. And if you've seen some of my videos before, you will be thinking, hey, we're off to go and do a taste test now. Well, you can think again, because I came back to this about a day later and it looked like this. Now, I don't think this is a result of a, a pectin reaction because rose hips apparently are quite low in pectin. So whether it's more just down to fruit pulp and the syrup combining and congealing, or it's possibly even maybe some of those fine hairs that have slipped through the net. Either way, it really doesn't look that appealing at all, does it? So I ran it all through the paper filter again, and as you can see, the before and after here, it's cleaned it up a treat yet again. So I'll leave this for another day, and if it's still clear, we'll be back and then do a taste test. And here we are at the end of the video, and as per usual, I have my final product. Well, most of it anyway. I obviously have lost some amount of the rosehip infusion after all that filtering I had to fanny about doing. But there we are, there it is. That's, that's quite a nice colour, isn't it? I'm mean, quite impressed with this. Doesn't smell of a great deal, but then that doesn't always reflect in the taste of it. So here we go. Cheers. That's okay. It's all right. I can't really describe it in a way that you'd understand. Well, it's like trying to describe a colour to somebody that's never seen a colour before. Um, 
it's it's all right. The, I keep coming back to something almost like a strawberry hints to this. It's not it's not going to set the world on fire taste wise. And again, it's not at the other end where you just think, fuck it, I'm just going to redistill that. That's horrible. Yeah, it's definitely middle of the road. Yeah, I, I can't quite get a strawberry out of my head now. So there we have it, the rose hip infusion conclusion. It's all right. Um, no banter, no funny business in this video, just plain and simple, boring as fuck. Never mind. Until next time. Make sure you keep on shining.